welcome back to another Buenos Aires vlog. Today we are in Parque 3 de Febrero and we just had a really nice picnic. We had prosciutto sandwiches and the weather today is just absolutely beautiful. It's like 70 degrees, the sun is out, you can probably hear the birds chirping in the background and Michael and I are finally enjoying like the start of springtime. I hear a lot that people say like at the end of August there's like this big storm and that's kind of like the conclusion of winter and then right after that storm we have like this beautiful weather and that's exactly what we're experiencing right now. That storm happened like the last two days of August and then starting on September 1st we've just had beautiful weather. This is like my ideal weather. Like it's a type of weather where you can wear anything. Shorts, pants, t-shirt, sweater, whatever you want to wear. It's so beautiful. So I'm so happy that like spring is finally here. It hasn't officially started yet, but, but it's here. actually just woke up from a nap we fell asleep for like an hour a full hour in the grass we brought like a little mat with us to lay out on and just like a cat we just fell asleep for an hour it felt so good and like I'm still a little bit sleepy but it was perfect <laughs> Lollapalooza lineup for 2025 has been released and Michael and I have really been thinking about going. I said this for the longest time, if Olivia Rodrigo comes to Argentina, like I have to go to the concert. Um, so we're really thinking about it. I don't think I would want to buy like a three day pass. I think I would prefer to just buy one day pass, but we don't know when Olivia Rodrigo is going to play yet. So we may, we very well may be going to Lollapalooza this year. Happy Saturday. Michael and I picked up some breakfast this morning and I finally got my very first iced coffee to start the warm weather. My favorite iced coffee to get is a French vanilla sugar-free iced coffee from Starbucks. And I know you guys so well. I know people are probably already thinking Starbucks in Argentina does not have like the best coffee. And I agree with you 100% for hot coffees. Like the Cafe Con Leche from Starbucks doesn't even compare to any of the other restaurants here, but the iced coffee from Starbucks, like it is so unmatched. And I think it's because like a year or two ago, iced coffees and iced lattes started to become more popular here. So I think they still have some experimentation to go with, but like this one from Starbucks, like it really tastes like I'm in the US, it is so good. Um, so I got this and I got a blueberry muffin from Starbucks. The blueberry muffins are like my absolute favorite ones here. They're so good. And it's like 9 a.m. We're in a park right now and I think it's already like 65-ish degrees. It is so warm today. It's so sunny. Um, spring is finally here. Spring is finally here. You know, I, I'm keeping it simple. I got a Media Luna. Okay, maybe I'm not keeping it simple. A, a twist de canela and twist de limon. Looks really good. They were three for two, so you know I had to get the three. I'm hoping that this is going to work. I'm trying to use my phone as a mic right now, 
but today Michael and I are gonna do a little bit of shopping that's the goal because I still need some more t-shirts like some professional t-shirts for my job um, and we were thinking about going to Abenita Avejaneda like near Flores but it's really far from our house so we're still deciding if we want to go or not but we are really just like cats in the sun right now we're just like basking in this beautiful weather it is 10 a.m and this is like the exact type of weather that I love so we're gonna see if we head over to Flores today and if not maybe we'll go to a different park or something because you're probably so tired of hearing me say this but like the weather is so it's just so nice it's just so nice person that gets very overstimulated very easily and going to like Flores or Onse or like Obelisco like when there are so many things happening people selling stuff on the street so many people walking cars people just like everything about it like it is so overstimulating if you are the type of person who gets very overstimulated very very easily and like can't concentrate Maybe Flores or Avenida Avejaneda may not be the place for you to go, but if you're interested in checking it out, I would say give it a shot. You have to like go there and really be determined and like you're gonna look at things, you're gonna browse, you're not gonna get frustrated with the amount of people walking by you. Like I was pushed and shoved at least 10 times like just because people probably were really frustrated and they just wanted to get through the crowds and they had like big bags on them and things like that. So if you go, just keep that in mind. <laughs> but. I did get a few things. I think I spent about 25-ish thousand pesos, which is like 20-ish US dollars. And I got a good amount of things. I'm gonna start with a little haul and show you guys what I got. I did get this scarf. I know we're basically in spring, um, but this scarf is so cutie. And it matches like the jacket I showed you guys a few vlogs ago. And I've been looking for a scarf like this for like all of winter season. So I'm not going to wear it now, but I have it for next winter and when fall comes around. Then I got four shirts at one store. They were between like three and four thousand ish pesos each. Um, so I got this one. This is like a plain yellow v-neck. And I got this green one, which is like a circle neck and it has like the sleeves. They're kind of rolled up on the side, which I thought that was neat. And I got that same exact style of shirt in a different color. And finally, I got this cute blue shirt. Like I don't really think that blue is my color. I really think more like maroon, browns, greens. Are more my color but this shirt was like calling my attention for whatever reason so I picked it up I did try all of these on in the store like I didn't go into a changing room I just put it over my shirt and that's one thing to keep in mind too like if you want to try on shirts sometimes the places will let you try them on sometimes it won't so I went with the idea that like I wanted to buy some t-shirts some for teaching some for like the warmer weather coming up so I went with like, this tighter fitting shirt so I could throw t-shirts on top of it um, so I'm really happy with all of these. Then I went to a different store and I was looking at this shirt and I was like, do I really want to get this? And I was so 50-50 about it the whole time. I came home and I tried it on again and I'm still like 50-50 about it. Um, but it's like a gray shirt, which is really nice, but it has like this puffed up sleeve. And I don't know, it gives like... 
it gives like i want to say lawyer a little bit i don't know how to describe it it's not really me like it's a cute shirt like if someone else were to wear it i would be like wow that shirt is so cute but like on me i don't know it's another teaching shirt that i have but i'm still like 50 50 about it and then finally i got this shirt which is kind of cool it's like sleeveless as you can see but it has like this little ruffle that would like cover your shoulders and I don't know like in the gym like I can wear like sport tank top and it doesn't bother me but I feel like when I go out in public like I don't love wearing tank tops I don't love wearing like strapless shirts or like I don't know I think it's like a self-confidence issue or something so this shirt is kind of nice because the little ruffles will just like go over my shoulder and it'll be like I'm wearing a sleeve, but it'll feel like I don't have a sleeve on. So whoever designed this shirt, like designed it with me in mind. And I tried all of these on. I really like the way they fit. And I feel like one of the things that frustrates me a little bit by not like having a DNI or not being from here and living here is like paying for stuff because I don't have Mercado Pago. I don't have an Argentine bank account here. I really just use my debit or credit card and cash. And most of the places will say we accept bank transfers or we accept Mercado Pago or we accept cash. And it's like, I don't love carrying around cash with me so much. Honestly, sometimes we'll go and just get out cash if we're planning on going to Flores or Onsay or like trying to do some shopping. Um, because we just prefer using card, but a lot of the places don't accept card. So keep that in mind too, if you're planning on going to like any of these places or just doing like shopping in general, if you're not from here, if you don't have a bank account from Argentina, if you don't have Mercado Pago, um, then I would suggest, you know, have some cash on you just in case. Sometimes the places accept card, but honestly for clothes in like these areas that I talked about, it is very rare it's very rare you guys barely got to see polka but at least you got to see her little tail i i i don't even remember what i was gonna say it's like three o'clock right now i do have a little bit of my iced coffee left over and i'm trying to like sip it a little bit because i have been going to bed at like nine o'clock on the dot every single night this was my first week back of teaching and i think just like balancing everything and like getting into a new routine has just completely like exhausted me so i do not want to like fall asleep at nine o'clock tonight so i'm like drinking a little bit of caffeine this vein day cup from starbucks honestly it's so big when i order one of these i can drink half one day and then half the other day but like i'm almost positive that i'm gonna finish it all today just to have a little bit of caffeine in me so i don't fall asleep at nine o'clock tonight friends you're gonna hear polka and max because they're just roaming around the house um we went to the botanical garden there was like a plant fair going on there and then we went to food fest in buenos aires it was right in la rural but it was actually a free event you didn't have to pay there were a lot of food vendors and then after we were thinking about going to palacio barolo we did not go, but instead we went to Cafe Martinez and we had like a nice little merienda chat. And <laughs> it was so funny because we were talking a lot and one of the things that we talked about was like how Buenos Aires is not a morning type of culture. We made a switch to the bathroom because I, it is Sunday night, tomorrow is Monday, a fresh start to the work week and we just kind of gotta get ready to go to bed. Um, but we talked about like how Buenos Aires is not an early morning culture. 
Um, like in the US, I could go to the gym at five o'clock in the morning. I could take a gym class at like 4 a.m. if I wanted to. There's 24 hour gym services. Um, like you can go to a cafe and like get something at like 6 a.m., 5 a.m. maybe. I think that's a little bit more common here. But like being able to do something before work is not that common here. And I just like, for me, I'm such a morning person. And I think that was kind of like a realization for me. Like I go to the gym at 7 a.m. But if I could, I would go to the gym at like 6, 6.30 if I could. But the earliest time that I can get to the gym is at 7 o'clock. Um, so that's one of the things I noticed. I think that's one of the things I miss a little bit about the U.S because I am such a morning person. I like getting stuff done early in the morning when I can, but like, I really can't complain. Like being able to still go to the gym at seven o'clock in the morning, like that's still a blessing. But again, we had a lot of fun. It was so nice to be outside for longer because it was such beautiful weather today. And now, as you can see, I'm getting ready <laughs> to take the Sunday shower. Um, and then we're gonna start another work week tomorrow which i'm really excited about because i've been having so much fun teaching and it's been a blast it's really been a blast of you guys seeing that big ugly cardboard box in the back of my background we finally have the whiteboard hung up and a guy came here he has come to our house before to like put shelves and stuff on the walls but we asked him if he would be able to put this whiteboard on the wall and he was able to um and now i have it up and like i printed these little borders from canva the whiteboard came with these markers and then we went to like a local print shop and we got like this extra colored piece of paper for like extra border so you really don't get to see the wall. I don't want like my students to see the wall and a little bit was showing so that's what we did with that part. And I, I think it's really cute. Unfortunately, it's not magnetic. So with like these things right here, um, I just have like a little tiny piece of tape putting it together and I've been exchanging like the dates every single day. Um, and this has been like my first week of school teaching again and I've had so much fun. My students came in with like so much energy, they were so positive, they were so happy. Um, and I've been like having a blast, it has been so much fun. And today is the last day of our first week back to school. So I think it has been going like really well. Like this year of virtual teaching, we got off to such a good start, way much better than my last year of virtual teaching. And I'm just, I'm just so happy. And today's the last day. Um, the students have been great. And I actually have to start teaching, so. <laughs> For right now, we're moving my desk every day and I'm putting my laptop on top of Polka's cat tree right here. This is like kind of what I did last year, but in another part of the house. But next week, like a big, like library shelf is supposed to be coming and we're gonna use that so that way we don't have to move this every single day I'll just be able to pop my laptop in because moving the desk here and back like it doesn't take long it's just like a little bit annoying and with the bookshelf library thing that we got we'll be able to use that for like extra storage in the house so that is perfect because we don't have a lot of storage in this house I feel like it should even like go back further. It feels like super zoomed in. Maybe it is zoomed in. Like. I feel like it should be back more. I feel like if I used to go like this, you used to get like my whole. Maybe not.